Greetings everyone, welcome to this new video. I'm gonna talk about a very special mechanic so I don't need to uh, put a lot of time into it in the, my next build guide. It is the new mechanic of Soul Toucher, which was introduced in Incursion League I believe. And the new Timeless Yules, which are extremely OP if you get the right one. So I'm gonna talk about the combination of these two items and how good they actually are for a build. So first off, let's start off with the Soul Toucher. It gives us intellect, which is very good for Cyclone because we need a lot of intellect. So that takes care of that. And if you corrupt it, you can get a good corruption like I did. It's not a super expensive belt. It's like one alchemy or one chaos belt. So you can just mass corrupt them if you want to. Uh, then there's a bunch of mods here we don't really care about. Uh, well, we do, but it's not going to affect us very much in the end. The ones we do care about is life leech effect are not removed at full life. That is the key point of picking Slayer. So if we go up here on Brutal Favor, you can see that life leech effect not removed at full life. So it's basically Slayer leech on any character in the game. But I'm still running a Slayer here, which means I could spec out of all these points because Endless Hunger, not very good. So it's basically just a pathway to get up to Brutal Favor. So now, by taking this belt, I can take all these four and go full crit and impact, which is huge area of effect and other, and um, also deal up to 15% more damage to enemies based on proximity. It's just as good as all of these other damage nodes up here. It might not look much, but the word more is always more than increased. So, what else does it give you? Uh, it also gives you gain 6% of maximum life as extra maximum energy shield. So, what it does is, it calculates from your life and gives you 6% of your life, it gives you as energy shield. Not very much, but together with the combination of our timeless jewel, which we have down here, uh, we're gonna need a specific Yule for this. It's Glorious Vanity, Timeless Yule. And we're gonna have that word Doriani. So it says, Bade in blood of uh, 5908, sacrificed in the name of Doriani. You need the word Doriani there. Otherwise, this will not appear. The mod we're searching for do not appear. And the one we're searching for, and why we put it down here, is because we get these two. Uh, we're not gonna spec into both of them. We're only gonna spec into one. I'm gonna explain why in a moment. So, Corrupted Soul. This one, of course, is not Corrupted Soul. It's point blank, which is completely useless for us right now. 50% uh, of non-chaos damage taken bypass energy shield. So 50% of the damage we take is just gonna, normal damage that is, is just gonna go directly to our life, which is fine. And the mod we're after is gain 20% of maximum life as extra maximum energy shield. That is 6 from this, and there's 20 from this. That means it scales very good. If the more life you have, the more energy shield you're going to have. So soon, I'm going to have all together 8k. So I'm close to 8,000 in effective health pool here. So which is huge numbers. That means the monster needs to hit me by tremendous amounts with all the debuffs I have on them and stuff like that. So I think this is extremely good because you get the Slayer Leech. You get about 1,500 I have right now in an extra energy shield. That is 1,500 on top of your already massive health pool. And there's also um, <laughs> the same thing here. Do not spec into this. I, I could be wrong here, but uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm not here. Uh, because 50 plus a 50 is 100, which means that of non-chaos damage got taken bypass energy shield, that means our energy shield will never move. So there's some downsides to this Soul Toucher belt also. Uh, you lose 5% of energy shield per second, but... Uh, and your energy shield start at zero, but that's not gonna matter. And I'm gonna show you why here. I'm gonna just put in the map, and we're gonna have to put beyond on it, because I'm doing my 100 map test here on beach. 
T16 uh, Elder Map. And I'm all juiced up. So, here we go. And as you can see here, we're always at maximum. And, and we're just gonna do the monolith here. I thought I saw it there. And it's a super easy, it will always be up, so you have that that negative mod is basically negative ball here. And there we go. And boom. I'm just gonna clear these guys out and then go back to the hideout. There we go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it just the Slayer Leech is so OP, by the way. It is definitely uh, the high point of this build. Um, let's see, where is that? And, and as you can see, if I'm um, out of combat, it will start degening after a while. I think it's four seconds until Slayer Leech uh, ticks off. So, But you will always hit something. You're, these builds are, especially with Slayer, um, Especially with Cyclone, you're so hitting enemies so fast and stuff like that. So, uh, to just reiterate what I just said, let's see here. You can spec out of all of these by just using that belt. And you get some incredible stats out of it. Which is intelligence, which we need for our infused channeling if you go in Cyclone that is. And that means you can use these four ascendancy points for better damage and more area. And just yeah it's just insanely good and we're gonna put the timeless jewel down here make sure it's the duriani it says the word duriani because not all of them do some of and we want to spec into this also these are gonna change so you might want to divine it a few times until you uh, get something good on these other nodes that you might want to spec into so i got this on my first so Increased air effect, chance to dodge ha attack hits, and 10% maximum life also. So I just decided to go for those also. Also, these are gonna change, so you might wanna take a look at the mods around it. You might hit something incredibly good. So, I think that is all I have for you. If you want some extra survivability for your maps and you want Slayer Leech, and you are in the situation I were at, where you are going for a crit build but you can't really yeah choose if you want to spec out of the full life of the slayer leech this is the option for you you get everything in one package and i think it's there's no downsides to it so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and put a comment in the comment field thank you so much for your support